done about old school ways. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a long time ago. Oh, that's, that's been a long, long time ago. Well, he was just a quiet, easy-going person. And he liked, well, his sports was fishing and hunting and bicycling. He uh, rode bicycles, I think, all over Polk County. Well, we played checkers, a uh, little bit of everything. Horseshoe, you name it, we played it. Just, and uh, we made little uh, wooden wagons, uh, wa cut our wagon wheels out of uh, a tree, made us a little red wagon, go up and down the hills on. We got the message, the, let's see, he was killed the 12th of March in 52. And, uh, well, I was the only one that was home when we got the message. Uh, I had to tell my, uh, my mom and daddy uh, the news of me coming in from the grocery store. It was a, a great honor to, for him to get the Medal of Honor. But uh, we knew then that, uh, well, one of his lieutenants, how come us to find out that uh, he was going to get his lieutenant come back. And uh, he was one of the wounded men that Bryant was standing over when uh, he, Bryant got killed. And he said he promised his uh, good Lord that if he got back on this side of the United States, he had to look his parents up, and which he did. He come to see us. And he showed us the wound that, that uh, Bryant was uh, uh, giving him medication for when, when Bryant got killed. And it, Bryant never uh, fell to the ground. His buddies caught him. And he died in his uh, buddy's arms. Uh, basically, Bryant was a quiet boy. He was just a good old country boy. Uh, he was quiet, but he was a tight fellow when he had something to say, everybody listened, you know. Of course, you know, he was only 20 years old when he died. Uh, but, uh, yes, I'm real proud that someone that I knew got the Medal of Honor. I wish I still had his Hawkbill knife. <laughs> well, I've got it. You've got one? Okay. <laughs> All right.